this video lesson is a kind of angels and angels are formed when two rays meet at a common endpoint or the vertex so as you can see on my figure there are two rays combined together or formed together and meet at a common endpoint which is the vertex and angles measures in degrees and there are kinds of angles there are four right angle acute angle obtuse angle and a straight angle so first is the right angle right angle it measures exactly 90 degree and it forms a square corners so in my previous lesson we all know the square corners so take a look of the example of a right angle so in my left corner eh, as you can see it, it is the right angle but in my class i'll use the clock with no hand and this hand will show you the different angle so first take a look for the right angle and some of this time to show you the right angle some of these are three o'clock or 12 15 nine o'clock or 12 45 3 30 or 6 15 9 30 or 6 45 so if you know how to read a clock you will understand about this angle on how i'm going to present it using a clock next is acute angle acute angle is measures less than 90 degree and it is smaller than the right angle so again in my left corner there are uh, some acute angle samples by mathelp.org and these are 53 53 degree 30 degree 30 degrees 75 degrees 85.5 degrees 10 degrees and 45 degrees and to understand again i'll use a clock and the hand of a clock it represents the rays or the two rays so i'll show you some acute angle so i have here 428 or 524 so as you can see it is smaller than the right angle and also 302 or 1215 you can play with clock to explore more about forming a acute angle using this clock next is the obtuse angle obtuse angles measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so in the left corner it is wider than the right angle and also an acute angle so it must wide so again i will use the clock to represent obtuse angle some of obtuse angle so some of these are 340 or 815 and 255 or 11 13 so these are the some um, angle that can be represented by a clock so you can play with the clock so you can explore on how for on how we you use the the clock to form an obtuse angle and last is the straight angle 
straight angle is measures exactly 180 degrees. So as you can see on my left, it is a straight line or straight angle. So my example for this is 915 or 345 or it can be 6 o'clock or 12.30. It is possible also from 1.35 or 7.05. So you can play with that clock to form different straight angle or different angles. So, are you ready for the activity? So I have 12. 12 numbers or 12 clock to identify the kinds of angle it can be a, a right angle acute angle obtuse angle or a straight angle so i'll give you a 50 seconds or a one minute probably to answer this activity so your 50 or one minute one minute starts now. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Time is up. So again, I will show you my answer, then compare with your answer. So first, or number one, acute, obtuse. Number two, number three, obtuse also. Acute for number four. Acute also for the number five. Straight for number six. Number seven is a right. Eight is a cute. Nine a cute. Ten of juice. Eleven right. And 12 is to choose. So, how many correct answer did you have? Congrats!